1980s were very good to our next guest. Oh yes, Con Hunley, Old Blue Eyes, had been recording for many years, but it was a song in 1982 that brought him plenty of success. Old Girl <laughs> had been a hit in the 70s, and Hunley took the song to number 12 on the Billboard Country Singles chart. And we are thrilled to have Con Hunley with us today in the studio. Welcome, well, my friend. Thank you haven't you, changed a bit. Oh, yeah. Well, just, I just looked at the video. Oh, yes, I have. Yeah. Thank you. You changed for the better. The gray <laughs> hair and everything. No, it's great to be with you. We thought you might have worn that suit today, but no. Uh, no. Yeah. No, it's, it's somewhere. I don't know if it's in mothballs or what. I tried to hang on to a lot of stuff, but... Probably not that soon. So you remember the 80s pretty fondly. Yeah, I mean, uh, Old Girl was a really big song for me, and I, and I didn't particularly want to cut it when uh, when Steve Dorf came to me, the pr producer, came to me with the song. I thought it was too R&B, and I'd tried to do some R&B stuff before uh, on Warner Brothers, and they kind of, you know, uh, thunder right. nose at it. So I thought, well, it's, t it's too R&B. He said, if you'll cut this, I promise you it'll do well. And so we did, and uh, and Warner Brothers liked it, and uh, it was uh, one of the biggest airplay records uh, I'd ever had. So. Yeah, and you've gone on to continue success. That was not your last song. How have times kind of changed since '82 as far as getting a record produced and marketed? Well, the internet has changed a lot of things. You know, I, I went through a period there, probably uh, 10 or 12 years, where I, I didn't have a, a label. I, I wasn't signed with anyone. And then I had an opportunity to sign with Emmy Records, and uh, so far we've uh, released about seven uh, or eight CDs on Emmy Records, and it's given me an opportunity to, to uh, I kind of got back into the writing and the creative process of all of it. It's given me a chance to kind of, uh, you know, get back into writing and producing and uh, and singing, and I, which I truly enjoy. So. Uh, it's, it's been really good. But yeah, I did go through a period there where there, there wasn't a lot going on. You're a local guy. Um, I actually <laughs> went to, with you to what is now Gresham School, That's Gresham right. Middle School. That's right, Central. And saw you play the piano, the same piano that you taught yourself to play, singing Ray Charles. Oh, yeah. And what's interesting about you, you made the decision not to move to Nashville. Yeah, you know, at the time, I, I, it was so close from Knoxville to Nashville, I didn't feel like I needed to be there. In hindsight, I should have moved there. Mm -hmm. I should have stayed there and, and been in front of a lot of people, uh, uh, you know, on a constant basis. But I thought, you know, living this close to Nashville, and uh, at that time, the flights, the little shuttle flights, were like 40 bucks. <laughs> so it wasn't that bad, and I could drive it in two and a half hours. Sure. Well, actually, three legal, but... Uh, <laughs> right. but we won't uh, tell anybody. Yeah, so... Uh, I, you know, I stayed here. I, I love Knoxville. The people, uh, you know, they know me uh, uh, from way back. And in fact, if this studio could talk, well, I did a live TV show, her country TV show, in 1969. Oh wow! wow. So uh, yeah, I, I was—I think I was four. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say you must have been. <laughs> exactly. Must have been. Well, I'm telling you what, this man can sing for sure. You've got some performances where people can come out and see you perform, is that? Well, we, we just booked, yeah, I try to uh, do some local things here occasionally. We, we just booked uh, Country Tonight Theater up in Pigeon Forge uh, for August the uh, 26th. And uh, you can go to my website, conhunley.com, for more information or check them out at uh, firstclassconcerts.com. And, uh, and tickets are on sale now, so awesome. yeah, I got a lot going on. And if I could, could I just say one thing? Yeah, sure. uh, I, I, you know, you talk about the 80s. I have a very good friend of mine, Mayor Harrow, who, uh -huh. who has really done a wonderful job uh, on the recreation facilities in and around Knoxville, and she's made uh, her and her crew and staff have made great improvements to some of the golf courses here, especially Willow Springs, which is probably going to be in the best shape it's been in in, yeah. in uh, 40 years, back to the 80s. Yeah. <laughs> so I just wanted to uh, give a shout out to her and yeah. her entire staff for doing such a great job. Doing we appreciate really things. it. Well, we're thrilled to have you on and hope you can go out and see him. I'm telling you, the concert, me and you at Gresham, one of my favorites. Oh, that, was, that was great. This guy All can right. sing Ray Charles. That was great. I loved the outfit yesterday, yeah, too. Thanks. Well, I loved the day, too. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> it's something. It is something. Con Hunley. Glad yeah.